So for those of you who may not already know, um, I identify as gay. So this is just going to be my coming out story and some questions that I get sometimes and all that kind of stuff. So let's just jump right on into the video. I have some notes here, so if you see me glancing down, that's why. I'm sorry. Um, my mind just goes like all over the place and I don't have a very um, long memory span or anything like that. So let's just start out with um, when did I know? I've been attracted to the same gender for as long as I can remember. I can remember being six or seven and being utterly in love with Rachel from F Club 7. So I've always known deep down that I was attracted to girls. I just didn't come to terms with it until um, last year. It took me a really long time to even admit to myself that I liked girls. It was one of those kind of like fall in love with your best friend situations. She had always said she was in love with me, but I kept telling her I'm straight, which really killed me because every time I said I was straight, I knew I was lying to myself and everyone else. So that was really hard. Um, we stopped talking in 2010, and I realized that I was in love with her. I got into my first like serious relationship with a guy, and it was honestly just because I wanted to prove to myself I wasn't gay. I feel really bad about it. About it, I was with him for five months, and I was I was a complete asshole to him, and I regret it to this day because it was just for my own selfish reasons. Um, we broke up, and I came in contact with my friend. Um, I think October of 2011 and we started talking again and she moved in with us to kind of get our life back on track and everything like that and we just started dating. Um, I came out as liking the same gender in summer of 2011. The first person I came out to was one of my best friends Miranda and she just kind of basically said that she already knew and she would love me no matter what, la 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 la. Uh, a couple weeks later, I came out to my mom. I told her that I liked girls. That's all the further it really went. She didn't really care. And then November of 2011, when my girlfriend and I got together, we sat her down. She was with me for moral support and everything. And I told her that I basically never saw myself marrying a man, falling in love with a man, having sex with a man, blah, 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 blah. And she took it pretty hard at first just because, like, she didn't expect it. Um, but it's okay. She's, like, 125% okay with it now. And my dad, on the other hand, he thinks it's a phase. Um, he even told me. Uh, last year at some point that he wanted me to go out and find a boyfriend, but he's getting better with it day by day. Um, my grandmother, who was one of the main reasons for me not coming out, she's my paternal grandmother, so my dad's grandmother, she's very, very homophobic, has always said very homophobic things my entire life, and I, I think the main reason for me pushing it back in my head was because that I feared that she wouldn't love me anymore and that she wouldn't want to see me again. So, Christmas of 2011, um, a few weeks before that we had made it like Facebook official or whatever you want to call it. So, my family that was on, that I'm friends with on there saw it. Um, I came out to my aunt. She took it very well. My maternal grandparents, my mother's parents, so they already knew, as well as um, my other set of grandparents, and they already knew. So that was really awesome. My dad's side of the family um, kind of found out through Facebook, and my aunt pulled my grandmother um, before Christmas. So I was really, really upset about that at first, but it was better for me in the long run because I wasn't ready to do it yet. And she wanted, sorry, she wanted to let her know before she kind of got down there um, with everybody during Christmas and found out that way. So I'm glad she did that in a way. And then 
um, in January, I think, of this year, I actually told my grandmother that I'm gay, which was one of the scariest things I've ever done, but I just feel like a big weight has lifted off my shoulders. It's awesome. She said that she knew and that she didn't care and it was okay. My last question that I sort of get is any tips for someone that is struggling with their sexuality or coming out or that kind of thing. My suggestion is just to wait when you're ready. It happens for different people at different times. Um, I know people that have come out when they're 12. I know people who haven't come out until they're in their 50s or 60s. It just depends on when it's right for you and when you feel that you are stable enough to come out. If you're in a home that you believe that you will be kicked out of or whatever because of your sexuality, please just wait. I know it's really hard, but it's better you keeping that to yourself than risking losing the place that you sleep at night, the roof over your head, the food that you get, your clothes, etc. So just wait until you're at a good point in your life that you feel safe and 100% ready to come out. If anybody watching this is having trouble with their sexuality or anything like that coming out, um, just like that internal conflict or anything really, you can absolutely feel free to comment down below, personal message me, if you friends with me on Facebook, message me there. I'll be very happy to talk to you because I know how it is being in that position, how difficult it is, and what you're going through. So message me if you ever need to. I'll hopefully talk to you guys soon, as long as my webcam is working fine, then we're good to go for making videos. So I'll talk to all of you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.